What's up guys, today we're gonna be making some uh, chicken soup. <laughs> uh, no, that's actually tomato soup. But anyways, today's tutorial, we're gonna be making some chicken soup on the real Skrillex and Habtrack's new track, and this is what it sounds like. So, uh, very simple bass here, really easy sound, and it does kind of sound like he's ripping off Joyride a little bit, low key. But if you guys like that sound and you think this is a dope ass tutorial at whatever point, make sure you guys consider at least number one clicking that like button. Or if you're new here, who wants to miss out on weekly serum tutorials just like this, doing awesome recreations? So, make sure you guys consider clicking that subs subscribe button as well. Um, anyways guys, what do you say we go ahead and jump right into our organic creamy tomato soup, huh? <laughs> Let's initialize the patch. Okie dokie, so first things first, this is a lead, alright? Um, what we're gonna do to make it a base. Yeah, no I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Um, what do you say we uh, turn on our square waveform here and basically we're gonna be running our frequency modulation from oscillator B and what we're gonna be doing is kind of create that nice FM uh, kind of baseline that he does have in the original drop so in order for us to activate our frequency modulation from oscillator B we need to turn on our signal oscillator which is gonna be obviously oscillator B and we're just going to drop the level all the way down because Oscillator A is going to be the host, all that sound is going to be outputted through there. So let's go ahead and turn on our FM. Okay, um, one sec, musical typing, okay. So as you can hear, we are starting to get a lot fuller of a square sound by intercepting these frequencies. Um, but all we're going to do now is just go into our analog and we're going to go into our pulse width modulated waveforms here and we're going to select our MG, okay? And we're just going to turn up that oscillator, um, its wave table position all the way up till we get this shape right here. Not bad. Oscillator uh, what? Oscillator B is octave, we're just going to turn that up too. And that's when we get that classic metallic -y, uh, FM sound. And we're also going to turn up the semitone up 7. So once again, we kind of bring it back into that really harmonic full square sound. Um, we could even turn it up to 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, what I did here is I have a MIDI region playing and there's overlapping notes, which is obviously gonna be an issue if the voicing is not on mono, so we're just gonna go ahead and turn the voicing on mono and legato, that way we can have a nice uh, portamento or like glide between the notes. Um, portamento should be good. So um, one thing that I did was I created a pumping sound. Um, this can either be done with side chaining or it can be done just by modulating the level of oscillator A, which can be done just by this. We'll put this, um, create a nice shape like this. Just a little something something. And we're gonna leave the mode off. That way no matter what note we're pressing, it's only gonna be run by um, wherever the, uh, whatever measure it's it's going through. So if we set it to every one fourth, it's gonna be pumping every one fourth of a measure. So one fourth, two fourth, three fourth, uh, four fourth, which will be the next measure. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Um, into the effects section, let's go ahead and jump on uh, our hyper slash dimension. And we're just gonna turn on the hypers mix a little bit here. And the dimension size, we'll turn size to about 2% mix up quite a bit to about like 30. That should be good there. Um, chorus is optional. It's just one of those things that you can use to give it a little bit more um, depth to the sound. Let's just turn it up all the way. This is my little trick for configuring my chorus. I always turn up the mix 100%. Um, that way I can hear what effect it's actually doing to the sound. Turn up the low pass filter. That sounds pretty good. We'll turn the mix on. That'll give it a nice little slight tail 
I'll maybe turn it up a little bit more. Finally, we'll turn on our compressor, put that on multiband, turn up the gain of it. Uh, we do need a little bit of a sub. I wasn't getting about the sub earlier. <laughs> we are actually going to be putting that on. And finally, we'll put on an EQ just to um, cut out the higher end because the original track is a lot softer and the higher end on the bass line. So, of course, we could put on some reverb, give it some space. And yeah, that's really all it takes. Of course, we can mess around, put on a sync. So yeah, that should wrap today's video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed your organic creamy tomato soup tutorial. Um, we're actually going to be opening up an affiliate section on rockpowersound.com probably sometime. What is the date today? I don't even know what the date is today, but um, either this month or in the beginning of next month. So you guys can actually get into making your own cash with Rocket Powered Sound. We will actually pay you. Um, so that's coming soon. That's awesome. We're actually developing a plugin. Oh my gosh, some awesome, awesome things for you guys. I cannot wait for you guys to experience what we're developing and we're making right now because we're actually doing some really insane things and I'm so excited to, to share it all with you guys within these next couple months. Um, really hope to speed up the development on the plugin but that's just to kind of let you guys know where we are at right now because I know I mentioned that in a couple videos back. But anyways, I hope that you guys got over my ridiculously not funny uh, puns with the <laughs> the soup bringing up the soup into my room I actually did not even realize it was tomato soup but yeah it's a little bit uh funny <laughs> all right guys i'll catch you guys in the next video